Well, hello, chaps. It's Commodore Graham here. Welcome back to uh, my heavily modded playthrough of Fallout 4, aka Nuclear Winter. Uh, the reason for that name, you'll have seen that at the end of the episode. Let's uh, get back into it. At the end of last episode, I mean. We installed a mod that made everything wintry. We're in a winter wonderland, or, or possibly a winter plunderland, considering the amount of looting that goes on in this game. Uh, now, um, thank you very much to everyone who watched the last episode. Turns out that it was rather popular. I got more views than I actually have subscribers, which is very gratifying. Um, now, I've done a couple of things to try to improve matters, because the video turned out pretty smoothly... But um, I, I'm always I'm always trying to improve things. So uh, I uh, I've overclocked my GPU a little, uh, and I've also reduced the recording bit rate slightly, so that I'm less likely to drop frames. But with all that technical nonsense out of the way, ooh, actual nu Nuka Cola right there, nice. So. Yes, so last time, all the things happened. Um, well, nuclear Armageddon, for one. Uh, we... Uh, that's actually not true up in the top left there. We can save the game uh, due to a mod that I added. What we got? Molotov cocktail. Rad away. Nice. And a plastic spoon. Also, also fantastic. Um, I'm not sure there's any point in taking these folders. I don't think they count as valid junk but we can always get rid of them uh, later on so yeah the end of the world happened uh, our wife got shot in the head uh, which I mean you know I'm sure that you will all agree is a slightly unfortunate occurrence um, unless I guess you really don't like your your wife I don't know that's that's your business to be honest um, and our uh, our our son, or at the very least our wife's son, not really quite sure, got kidnapped. So what happens when I press this? Okay, so presumably I can just get back in by standing on that, right? I'm not going to actually do it right now. Maybe I'll try that out later on. We seem to have more free stuff right here. I should probably get my gun out, actually, just in case any, any shit goes down. So, uh, and we, uh, we escaped the vault, which was um, full of very strange looking and aggressive uh, small dogs. Um, uh, I hadn't seen the breed before, apparently it was the Radroach breed of dog. Um, yeah, you can shut up now. Okay, that did nothing. Let's leave by the way we came in. We, I, I, I think we grabbed everything from over there. Oh. Nothing in here. I am tired from lack of sleep. Oh, God. Survival mode is starting to kick in. Uh, well, I've got a mod installed, by the way, that... Um, at least I don't think this happens in the uh, vanilla game. Uh, the, I, I can see what components I can scrap from, from, uh, from junk items. So from this desk fan, I can get steel, screws, gears. It's all to the good. Uh, good old asbestos in the coffee pots. One bottle cap. Fantastic. Um, hello, friend. He's not looking too well. I'll, I'll just I'll just leave him be. I don't want to intrude. Uh, do we have everything in... Oh! Cram. Which is a food item, I do believe. Okay. Moving swiftly on. Uh, here are all the unfortunates that were blocked by um, the military at the gate here. 
maybe this is the guy who let us in, actually, because uh, we only just got into the vault in time and then everything was toast. Absolute toast. Burned toast at that. Not your regular toast. <laughs> prepare for the future. Well, I'm not sure anything could prepare me for this future. Hold on. Tell you what, let's let's get this is cute. Let's get a let's get a screenshot of this. So um get a little closer. I uh, I'm quite keen on photography, don't you know? Alright, so that's about right, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great! Lovely, amazing. Uh, and thanks to the wonder of Gopher's mod uh, that, uh, what's it called, Immersive Hood, I was able to take that screenshot without there being uh, all of this rubbish on the screen. Oh wait, I could do with a reload apparently. So uh, yeah, I just picked a, I just picked a mutated flower of some sort over here without really making any kind of comment on it even. But uh, we we'll have time enough for flora and fauna later. Let's let's go and see. Whoa, a little bit of lag right there. Let's go and see what remains of our once beloved home. Can it be Codsworth? As I live and breathe. Oh, you don't actually breathe. It's really you. So, so many questions, so little time. Oh my God, they did it. They blew it up. God damn them, or whatever it was that Charlton oh, Heston please, said. Take your time. I actually do have all day. <laughs> I like you, Codsworth. My god, they did it. Those bastards really did it. Everything's dead. Everything's dead? Ah, yes, the garden. Mm. Uh, the posies <laughs> have been uh, problematic, I admit. Ah, if only the missus were here to help. Where is she, by the by? Funny you should ask that, Codsworth. Um... Yeah, things didn't go so well down in the vault we abandoned you to flee to. Um, they came into the vault. Maybe you saw them armed, wearing strange outfits. Today, sir? Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty much. I mean, it's been a hard day. <clears throat> Only Miss Rose's boy running around in his Halloween costume more than a week early. I swear, the nerve of that woman leaving her brat unsupervised. Ha <laughs> ha, not like this family, sir. You and the missus have always been such a responsible couple. Oh, where is she, by the by? Uh, incidentally, you may have noticed I've installed a couple more mods. Well, I've installed lots of mods. But one of them that I've installed lets me see exactly what I'm going to say. And the other one stops the voice acting of the protagonist. Um, which, I, I mean, I think that... I'm still here, you know. Yeah, yeah, Codsworth, hold on. I, I'm busy talking to the viewers. Um, I don't like having a voiced protagonist in this game. Uh, because it makes every character feel the same if they've all got the same voice. So, um, yeah, they, they killed her, Codsworth. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Are you saying that my tiny baby loves charades? Because I find that a little unlikely. Um, Sean's been kidnapped, Codsworth. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my wife's son back. It's worse than I thought. 
Hmm? You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. I guess that's a fair point. Wait, 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 what? 200 years? Well... God damn it, Codsworth. Tell me what's going on. 200 years. God, that's insane. I've got your tongue, sir. Um, sorry, I got a little carried away there. A bit over 210, actually, sir. Or give or take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. Oh, how remiss of me. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. You must be famished. Yeah, make me a sandwich. Um. Okay, so I have at times people with, will withhold information or caps. You can attempt to persuade them. So this is what this yellow text is about. Codsworth, you're being a weirdo. Come on, get with it. It's me here. I. I. Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! I feel and you, man. Don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house <laughs> and the car. The car! How do you polish rust? Oh my god. You, uh, seriously, Codsworth, you must feel like Sisyphus. Now. Um. But, 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 ca calm down, Codsworth. Get, get to the facts. Get to the point. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. A fair assumption. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. So, um, what's on it? Give me, give me the TLDR. I believe it's a private message for you. My etiquette protocols would not permit me to play it for myself. Oh, whoops, a daisy. Any standard holotape reading device That's should better. be able to play it back. Oh, like that pip boy on your arm. That should work brilliantly. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall uh -huh, we uh -huh. search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. The missus not so much. Um, is there anything dangerous around? Just the usual, sir. Any Pesky any weird looking dogs? dogs and <laughs> Shall I investigate? Yeah, yeah, he thinks they're dogs too, apparently. Um Okay. Round two, sir. Let's go. Sir. That's that's the That's the um what is it? That's the spirit. If you dare. Wait, what? Where are these scalawags of which you speak? Oops, a daisy. Found you. Uh, okay, we have. Flies. Oh, I leveled up. Isn't that fantastic? Uh, where'd you go, Codsworth? Hold, oh, dang it. Codsworth, where you at? Oh, I have targets in here apparently. Okay, let's 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 uh, let's switch to melee mode since we're in close quarters. Nice. Okay. Let's see how this works out. Bam! That was great, and now I'm covered in goop. Oh. Well, whoops. Um, yeah, radiation damage. I can use a Radaway for that, but it will probably be a bit of a waste. So, well, no babies in here. 
Where did you go, Codsworth? Oh! Okay. Mr. Chad, your, yes, Codsworth. Your family isn't here either. They're, they're really gone, aren't they? <sighs> okay. Codsworth, thanks for giving it a go. Sir. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. <laughs> <laughs> they sound like nice people. Mm. So, so there is. Wait, wait. That, that that's a good point. There are still people alive, you know, in the world. Yes, although they're a bit rough. <laughs> you remember the way, just across the southern footbridge, out of the neighbourhood, and past the Red Rocket Station. I shall remain here and secure the home front. Good job, Codsworth. Okay. Looks like uh, Codsworth has actually been busy in here. Couple of dead bloatflies. And a lot of a lot of junk everywhere, which I'm sure will bubblegum. I, I don't really need that right now. I came here to kick ass and chew bubblegum, and if I pick up some bubblegum, then that will distract me from kicking ass. I think that's how the movie court went. <laughs> Okay, so over here we have, I mean, we're going to be going to Concord. Don't you worry, chaps and chapesses. Wait, 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 I gotta, I gotta bring my, uh, my iPad over here so that I can see the time whenever I want, see how long I've been recording. The last episode was an hour long, but I guess that makes sense. It was the, the premiere, the, the premiere, if you're American, um, which you probably are. Most of my viewers are, in fact, American. But I guess there are a lot more um, English speakers in America than anywhere else. Now then, so we have... Uh, let's, let's put our stuff away. Put our compass away. We have a weapons workbench. This does not seem to be a workbench. Oh, I'm peckish from lack of food. Oh, my word. We have uh, a workshop here. So, if you haven't played the game before... The workshop allows us to build, adjust, and remove nearby objects and structures. Um, and... Well, uh, I think you... Okay, okay, okay. I think what you do... There we go, exit. And then I can hold on left alt to bring up the workshop menu. So here we can build structures. Um, it's the cursor keys, actually. Uh, that you use. Um, you select furniture, decorations, power, defense, resources, stores, which is not something I've really looked into before. Crafting and and radar. We can make radar items apparently, but we can't right now. And at the top here, you can see how many people are in the settlement uh, at the moment, zero. And what our food, water and power supplies are like, what our defensive capacity is like. How many beds there are and how happy people are. Apparently the happiness of these zero people that we have here is, is 50. So uh, hooray for that. That's more happiness than I'd expect to find in people that don't exist. So one thing that we can do is... Oh wait, we... Should we transfer all our junk to here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but we might want... Uh... Oh, uh, I also installed a mod which uh, changes this menu. I don't think it had all of these tabs up here in the past, or if it did, they were they were kind of different. So here's our um, what's this? Uh, precious items and 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 uh, some some other things. So these are things to do with mods: the immersive hood, the quick save, etc. Let's let's. Let's get rid of this folder too. Where's the junk at? Okay, so I'm going to grab these Nuka-Cola bottles. Do we? Are there any other bottles? No, that's it. Um, because we may be able to fill them with water at some point soon. Oh, the other thing that I should point out, in case you're not familiar with the game, if I go back into the workshop menu, 
we can scrap things. So for instance, if we want to scrap a bunch of tires, so for, for, for this uh, tire wall, we'd get 30 rubber, which is a quite respectable amount. So let's do that. Um, if we scrapped, for instance, this floor jack, we only get steel, a decent amount of that as well. And also, is this, this is a completely ruined house, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, we can just scrap this entire house and look at all the things we get. We get some concrete too. And now we'll be able to build here and we'll be able to see further in the case of any enemy encroachments. And uh, I think I'm going to, for the same reason, do the same thing to this ruined house too. But that's enough for now. I think that, um, that the junk should automatically get thrown in there. Yeah, it is. Anything that I scrap whilst I'm in the settlement menu uh, automatically goes into my um, storage for this settlement, which you can access actually not just via the workshop, but by, via the weapons workbench as well. Um, one thing that we're going to have to sort out is some food. And as it happens, we should be able to do that. I think over here... Yeah, because I have played this game a certain amount before. I oh, God! Well. Oh, th is there just one? Well, we'll cook that too. Uh, some 38 rounds randomly lying on the ground there. Are there any other... Any other bad guys in here? Seemingly not. So we have this cooking station where we can cook all the things. So, see what we can get. Um, we have plenty of rad roach, so we can make uh, four lots of grilled rad roach by the look of things. Uh, anything else? No, that's... Wait, didn't I pick up the, the bloat fly meat? Huh. That's, that's slightly confusing. Uh, and what I will do is actually move this cooking station. You can pick it up, just press the E key there. I, I'm a very strapping lad, apparently. I'm, I'm carrying this thing around whilst the fire's still lit. Um, and, well, I, I'll mess around with the exact placement later, but for now it can just go here next to my other crafting station. Uh, stations, rather. What else do we have? Um... Oh, you know what we have? We have the capacity to level up. So. Right. So, um... The... I, I think how it works is things we already have at least one level of. Uh, obviously, we have at least one level of all of our basic stats. Uh, they show up, um, you know, with full opacity these things are kind of a little grayed out these things that i can get and things that i can't select yet they're just cutouts so um uh, i suppose these are skills um that i can acquire as time goes on uh and, and i'm not really sure what to go for i mean there's quite a few things available to us. We could incre in actually just increase our stats. Like, for instance, if we increase our intelligence, we will gain experience more quickly and hence level up more quickly. Um, and on the first level here, we can punch things really hard, get 
uh, get better at pickpocketing, which is not really something that I've ever done in this game. Uh, damage resistance, that, that could be pretty nice, actually. Um, display the path to my closest quest target in VATS. Uh, increase my damage with pistols. Find more bottle caps in containers. Find more ammunition in containers. Uh, automatic weapons, extra damage. Oh, you know, I might go for this. This might be useful. Because uh, with the legendary survival mod, sorry, realistic survival damage mod that I've added, and, and I'm using the legendary survival version, which like basically triples the damage instead of doubling it, I could really do with uh, making stim packs more effective. So just for the sake of a greater possibility of survival in the, in the uh, in the near term let's take that okay we are a medic it would seem oh and incidentally uh like i kind of obliquely alluded to it in the previous episode by installed a mod to change the appearance of the pit boy i think it's just called vault tech pit boy or something you should be able to find it on the nexus pretty easily if you want to use it yourself now I think it is time to continue here with the actual game. So, we're heading to Concord, which we will find across this bridge, according to, uh, according to our good buddy Codsworth. Oh! little bit of lag there and uh, I think you'll agree with me by the way that uh, this game is super pretty in winter time with this winter mod I, I think actually um, oh oh it's about to be night time okay first things first actually oh fragmentation grenades in the trash can of course, that's exactly where you would expect to find them. So, my character is tired. And that's something we need to sort out. Um, also, I... Wait a second. Uh, how much radiation damage do I have? Oh, right, my action points can only get so high because I am... Uh, hungry and thirsty. So, I'm hungry, thirsty and tired. I don't think we're going to conquer um, until the night has passed. So, uh, I'm going to make... I'm going to convert this from a bathroom to a bedroom. Uh, scrap. No need for a broken bath. Um... And this stool, eh, you can go in the corner. So the question is, do I have any cloth? Because I, I am going to need cloth to make a bed. Let's, uh, let's see if we can find any anywhere. Oh, Mr. Handy Fuel. Great. Oh, it's Sean's room. How very poignant. I'm not I'm not going to scrap this uh this rug. I want to keep it. Oh, nuclear material in the blast radius board game. Very uh very healthy. Uh what we can do, wait, let's get rid of the um Oh, right, yeah, that one's for the compass. So let's get rid of the hood. Uh, scrap this for cloth. I don't know how much cloth we need for a bed. That's something we need to figure out. So... Furniture. Beds. I need five cloth, and steel I have a plenty, so... 
Let's, uh, let's check this place out. Yeah, I took the blood fly meat. What happened to it? Huh, that's weird. So, I mean, I could scrap these couches and chairs, but I might want them later on. Let's just try and find another rug. Uh, this one will do. Scrap. Oh, right. Now we have precisely enough. And I still have the uh, bed selected. Let's take it over here. Put it down. And there's one other thing that we should do aside from this. All right. Okay. Now it's 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 lining things up time. Uh, that'll do. Oh, actually, that's pretty good. Um, this is this is me being far too finicky here. Right, great. Um, the other thing we should do is sort ourselves out a source of water. Um. Let's see, where, where, where is that? Uh, no. It's under resources, yes, that's right. Water, and here we go, a water pump. And we do actually have the things that we need to make this, fortunately. Oh, here's another, uh, workbench here. So I'm gonna put the water pump here. Oh, come on. That'll do. I'll just make the one for now. Oh, you're a little too close. To, to, oh, God damn it! A little too close to this foundation. Uh, tab, cancel, okay. Got it. Come on. Great. Now, I should be able, yeah, I can fill uh, the bottles that I'm carrying. And we're going to be picking up as many bottles as we possibly can. Just... Are, are we done? Yeah. And we should drink some water too. Great, now I'm mealy parched. And now we're done. Okay. Uh, what time of day is it? Data... Uh, it's 7 p.m. So we should be going to sleep soon. Uh, this is an armor workbench. Fantastic. Good to know. We'll be scrapping a whole load of stuff and um, moving these workbenches around. Oh, and here we have a power armor station. I have no idea why there is a, a station for... Um, uh, upgrading and repairing power armor uh, here in um, here in Sanctuary, but uh, I'll take it. It looks it looks really like someone set up some sort of base here at some point, but they're they're long gone. So, um, oh, we should eat. We should eat. Uh, aid, and I've added uh, I've added a mod that. Um, it improves how the pip boy menus work so you can see things are in categories here. Oh, what's it called again? Uh, I think it's Valdasil's item sorting. Uh, there's a full list of all the mods that I use actually in the uh, description box. Um, it's a pretty long list, so I was quite, uh, I felt quite fortunate that it all managed to fit in there. Um, but what do we have? Oh, wait. Radiated food, bloat fly meat. We only have. How do we only have one piece of bloat fly meat? I killed a few bloat flies. I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. Um, let's let's have some lovely rad roach. And and what's my? Am I still hungry? Uh, short effects. Yes, I am. Whoops. Okay, 
now that we're properly fed and watered, uh, we should grab ourselves some shut eye. So it's it's only half past seven. I'm going to bed ridiculously early, like some kind of old person. Uh, we want to sleep until it's about to be light again. So ten hours. I mean, let's face it, we've been through quite the ordeal. We're probably, uh, we're probably pretty damn exhausted. Okay. So it's starting to get light. I'm just going to check my inventory. Uh, oh, I have two pistols and two batons on me. Um, that's a little unnecessary. That's just going to increase my carry weight. Uh, I also have two jumpsuits on me. That, that didn't weigh much, but is there anything else that we should put away? Uh, the cram. This is food, but it's irradiated food, so it's not particularly useful right now. Put away our spare, our spare meats. Uh, oh, stored junk too. I'll keep the 38 rounds on me in case I find a gun that I can use it with. And we could, we could do some upgrading to, to our gun, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Um, the, the, the thing about the survival mod or one of the survival mods that I've added is that um, not only is the enemy's damage, like like the damage the enemy does to me, increased, but the damage I do to enemies is increased too. So it's like survival mode, except fair. Right, let's do a save. Get out our piece. And what do we have here? More 38 rounds. Um, stim packs, that's great. Pipe pistol and a drifter outfit. So, uh, this, this is a little undignified. Just lying in the middle of the road here. This is at least 13% more dignified. And we have some, um, we have a tire iron and some more tasty noms. Fantastic. So let's see whether the tire iron is superior to our melee baton. Uh, indeed it is, so let's... Oh, wait. Probably the way to do it is to... F yeah, favourite it where the baton was. Um, and it's got the same weight, so... And it's got the same speed. Right. And, of, uh, of course, we also now have a, a pipe pistol. Which uses these 38 rounds, so let's... Actually, you know what I'll do? The pipe pistol can go here. And the tire iron can go there. Right. So. Pipe pistol. Uh, you can't see very well, but um, I'll, I'll wait until it's, until it's lighter to go over the, the mods that I've made to how pipe weapons look. So, here we find ourselves at the Red Rocket Truck Stop. Irradiate Thistle? Sounds yummy. Oh, hello. Hello, buddy. What happened to your dude? Right. Okay. Face my dog and press E to begin issuing commands. So I can tell him to go to places. I can tell him to inspect containers. That's great. Um, tell you what, go over and look at that tool chest. This is a very intelligent dog. Ha, 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 ha. 
That's great. So, do I just press escape to get out of this? No. Tab? Yeah, that's it. Okay, and I can... I can tell him to go places. Go over there. So obedient. Right, we have a new friend. We have our first companion. Oh, God! What's happening? Well, what the hell is this? Oh, more, more. Give me vats. For some reason, the vats button wasn't working for a second there. Oh, incidentally, uh, you may have noticed that the game completely freezes when I enable the vat, uh, vats, the vault tech assisted targeting system or whatever it is. Um, that's a mod that I've installed too, uh, to, to make it the same as um, Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. I really didn't like the, um, the, the Fallout 4 original style. Great. Let's use the bullet time. Oh, we got this. Uh oh. That was a little over eager of me, but I feel it was warranted. Reload. So, what do we have here? Mole rats. Really, really big mole rats. Uh, this one has a paintbrush. Clearly, this was the uh, Bob Ross of the mole rat world. More meat, hide, teeth. Uh, yeah. You can never have too many teeth. Stimpaks, water. These are all to the good. So, uh, here, of course. Uh oh. I ah, thought something was going on there. Here, of course, we find the aspect of uh, of this game that's, you know, Loot Simulator 2015 or 2016 or... When did this game come out? It's 2015, right? Pretty sure. I, I just don't even know what year it is anymore. So, um... Yeah, one of the one of the satisfying aspects of this game is just looting everything in sight. Uh, oh, this has springs. That's great. This has gears. Asbestos and fiberglass. Uh, oh, aluminium. That's pretty handy. And a recording of uh, the Blue Danube, as featured on the uh, on the film 2001: A Space Odyssey. We're going to turn that off just in case there are copyright issues. Because the thing is, you would think that there wouldn't be copyright issues because it's classical music and really, really old and sort of be out of copyright. But what's copyrighted are the performances, not just the music. You see? It's tricksy like that. So, I sent Dog here. Um... Isn't his name supposed to be dog meat in this game? Oh, well. So, um, I sent him to investigate this tool chest, and the only thing he brought back was a gun. So, he clearly doesn't bring back the, um, the junk and so forth. Let's, let's, oh, let's just take all. Um, oh, come on. Gears, fantastic. More ceramic. We probably don't need that, to be honest. Now then. Oh! Another source of cloth. That's going to be useful for making... Uh, making more beds, I guess. Asbestos. Great. Ooh! Circuitry and copper. That's very valuable indeed. And, uh, you know, we're going to be using all of this stuff. Wait. I was commanding my dog still for some reason. Oh, what's this? Ah, more fags. Um, in case you're not familiar, fags is what... 
is what British people call cigarettes. More circuitry, copper, fiberglass. This is amazing. How are we doing for carry weight, actually? 64 out of 115. Uh, another thing that I should check, I picked up um, I picked up an outfit at some point, didn't I? So the drifter outfit. Okay, so for now, I might wear this instead of my um, vault jumpsuit. Because it gives me some... Uh, slight protection against um, uh, physical and um, energy damage there. It gives me a plus five on one and plus two on the other. We lose our radiation protection, but uh, that's not as big a deal. So uh, let's let's see how this looks. Let's, let's, let's get out in the light, you know, get a good angle. So there we go. Chad Patriot with his badass looking drift outfit and his ridiculous um, blue and yellow pip boy on his arm. I like it anyway. Even though it looks like a child's toy at, at this point, I think it looks fantastic. It's a fantastic child's toy. Now then, let's have a bit more of a look around. Ah, another bottle. Oh, a chemistry station here. Uh, which I don't think... Oh. Bullet time configuration is in here as well as in my Pip-Boy menu. That's strange. So, the syringe is a gun that fires syringes, which we don't have. What things can we make? Mines. Healing items. We, we don't have the ingredients necessary, unfortunately. Um, grenades and drugs. Okay. Fantastic. It's good to know that's there. I don't think I can carry it with me to, um, uh, like, beyond the boundaries of this place as a settlement. Wait. There we go. Yeah. You can see the settlement boundaries are in green along there. Um... We we will probably be scavenge, scavenging some stuff from this place. We might even turn it into a settlement. I don't know. But anyway, I was supposed to go to, uh, to Concord. Was I not? Well, I mean, I suppose I was. But I'm, I'm way too curious uh, about what's going on in here still. We haven't finished looking around. Um, let's see what we can pick up that's particularly good. Cap stash. Fantastic. Um, my guy obviously... Oh, this has a spring. My guy obviously does not know that caps are uh, money here, but not to worry. Uh, he's just taking them anyway because reasons. The table knife, that's probably just steel. I'll, I'll take it. I've got the carry weight. Um, what else? What else? You, you're just always in my way, dog, but I love you anyway. Uh, more cloth. That's just, that's, we're just grabbing everything. That's what we're doing. I don't need this cram. I don't know why. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's part of a recipe. I'll take it just in case. Um, did we grab everything from here? Another weapons workbench. Hold on. Weapons workbench, workshop, cooking station, armor workbench. Uh... And the chemistry station. You know, I find myself wondering whether maybe I should make, you know, when I first make a settlement, whether I should make it here. Because it's got the chemistry station too, and that's that's pretty useful. Hmm. Is it as defensible, however? Not sure, not sure. Anyway, there was a terminal in here, and we should go and have a look at it. Welcome, Red Rocket employee! Business entries. New equipment installed. 
took some wrangling with the head office, but we finally got all the tools we need to machine our own parts. No more having to pay for Corvega factory parts the next time they change the spec on a damn fastener. Just take one we got and trim the excess down till it fits. That's smart. Rosa restoration. That Rosa widow in Sanctuary Hills is restoring an old classic Corvega with her son. Nice woman. Pretty. Kid seems like kind of a brat, but I guess that's the point of her doing this project with him. Anyway, she's been doing a hell of a job. I was amazed at how much her and the kid have been able to do on their own. The only reason she even came to me is because the engine is out of her depth. I'm sure we can help her out. So, wait, 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 let's see. So, Sanctuary Hills, well, that's my town. Um... That none of this information is, is all that useful. Safe storage. Jim. Take care of those barrels. Oh, safe storage. Not safe storage, I think. Take care of these barrels before you leave tonight. Inspectors are coming first thing in the morning. Just hide them with the others. We'll figure out a longer term solution later. Hey, if nature's going to favour us with a cave right below the shop. Oh. Who am I to argue? There's a cave below this shop, apparently. October service logs. Okay, not sure how important this is going to be. Uh, right, replace some brakes. vault -Tec van. Rep is an up the asshole. Late model motorcycle. Pre-automatic. Uh, platinum parts, blah, blah, blah. Coolant leak in one of the coops. And I think this is the last one. Replace the atomic atomic alternator. Just atomic cars. It's so funny. Let's get out of here. Wait, wait, wait. Did I did I see everything there? Yeah, I did. Okay, so there is apparently a cave underneath this place. However, having just checked the time. I believe this episode has run on long enough. It's probably about 45 or 50 minutes now, which seems like a, a good sort of length. We've um, explored the red rocket stop. It looks really cool. This might be a good place to set up a base. We shall see. We shall see. Um, we seem to have dealt with all of the uh, all of the mole rats, which Chad Patriot has just discovered is a thing that exists. We've got a new doggy friend. Uh, we've been figuring out the, um, y you know, like the settlement system and the workshop and all that. All is well. So, uh, I'm going to pretty much stop the recording at this point. Oh, he's so cute. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> and go, uh, go looking around for, uh, other potential screenshots for this, for this episode's thumbnail. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did. Please do click the like button, it helps out my channel rather a lot. Leave your suggestions, questions, comments, especially things to do with um, like modifications and what you think of how the game looks in wintertime in the comments below and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Ta-ta for now, chaps.